everything. If I don't trust in myself, then what happens? You go to heaven? If I don't trust in myself. <laughs> Can you save yourself? What answer do you want to hear? Well, you tell me. I want to hear, I want to hear the answer that you Yes, you I could save myself. How? Sin. That's mean? bad, ain't it? What do you mean you could save yourself? Let's your... not do that answer. What do you mean you could save yourself sin? I don't understand your answer. How could you save yourself? How? How can I save well, myself? you can save yourself. That's my point. <laughs> See? Who can save you? Jesus. Okay, so who have you been trusting? Jesus or myself? You tell me. Myself. Okay. When does Dakota Burke want to put all of his trust in God as his Savior? When should this start? What's that? When should I start? Today. Today. All right, let's make something happen. Okay, okay. What's the only thing that saves you? Cross. Good. Who are you going to trust? Jesus. And who's going to save you? Jesus. Okay. Any question before we pray? No. All right. So say this with me. Say, God. God. I understand today. I understand today. I'm not good. I'm not good. I'm not the Savior. I'm not the Savior. I can't save myself. I can't save myself. I stop trusting me. I stop trusting me. And I start trusting you. I start trusting you. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Take all my sins away. Take all my sins away. And give me. And give me. Eternal life. Eternal life. I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you. Alone. Alone. As my Savior. As my Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So Dakota Burke, can you tell me what God just did for you? Granted me serenity. Okay, good. Excellent. So how sure are you going to go to heaven? 100. What's that reason? God gave me life for your sins. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Whoever believes in me has, Whoever believes in me has eternal, life. eternal life. What does that tell you? Make a move. Okay, what do you mean? What do you mean make a move? Okay. Whoever believes in me has eternal life. Who said that? Does he lie? Do you believe? Do you believe? So what does he say that you have? Good. When does God say that the, when does God say that Dakota Burke has eternal life? When I put God first. Okay. Alright, so when was that? Today. So what do you have today? Jesus. God. How sure are you? 100. And the reason? He accepted me. Okay. And he accepted you because? My sins. Okay. You know, the only thing you contribute to your salvation is your sin. That's it. God did it all for you. Okay. Now, if we had a coat, every time we sin, we put a mark on our coat. What do you think our coat would look like? Marks. Marked up, right? Now, Christ had no sin, so what do you think his coat looks like? Marks. Did he ever sin? So his coat's perfect. He's got the perfect coat. We that's got a the... mark, though. It, I mean, marks, a mark. You know, that's why his, his you know, it's, it's a mark. You know, what do you it's... mean it's a mark? Not, well, you had to look at it different than a mark, because... You know, it's something to look, to look for. He's got no marks. Perfect coat. We got the messed up coat, okay? Now, 
God made him to become sin for us. Do you know where the Father put your sinful coat? If the coat's on you, where does all the judgment go? Covers me. To you, right? Yes. If a judge would just throw somebody's crimes away and wouldn't punish, would he be a good judge or a bad judge? Can a judge just throw people's crimes away without punishing? No. Okay. So God can't do that. So he wore your coat. See? He wore your coat in your electric chair. God removed his robe, came down, removed you from the chair, sat in your chair. All the wrath, all the punishment, all the hell went to him. What's left for you? God. What's all that based on? Commandments. Okay, when you say commandments, what do you mean? What are the commandments? Well, we have all those Ten Commandments, okay? What's your eternal life based on? Death. Well, we deserve death. What's the reason you get to go to heaven? No answer. Okay? It's what He did. It's what He did, okay? Do you know the law of double jeopardy? You ever heard of the legal term double jeopardy? Yeah. What does it mean? Second chance. Okay. What it means is, <laughs> what it means is you can't be charged twice for the same crime. You know he was already charged guilty for all your sins. Not so. Well, you should be charged guilty. Who was already charged guilty for you? Jesus. Can you be charged guilty for your sins? No. Why not? I guess so. Well, if you're charged guilty for your sins, where do you end up? Behind bars. What's that? I don't know. I don't know. If you were charged guilty for your sins, where would you end up? Locked up. Well, you'd end behind up... Behind bars. Oh, behind bars. I didn't understand. I thought you said pie bars. I said, what's no. a pie bar? Before God, where would you end up? Freedom. Well, if you were charged guilty for all your sins, before God, where would you end up? Heaven. If you were charged guilty... Oh, guilty. I don't know. You'd end up in hell. In hell. Okay? Yeah. If I was charged guilty, I'd end up in hell. Can you be charged guilty? Yes. If you're charged guilty, you're going to go to hell, okay? That's where I'm going, it looks like hell, if I'm charged guilty. Right, but see, he was already charged guilty for you. That's what I want you to see. Because he was charged guilty for you, do you have to be charged guilty? No. Why not? That'd be unequal. Yeah. It's double jeopardy, <laughs> you see? Yeah. So, so he did it for you, it's done. And when you see that in your heart, how does it make your heart feel towards God? Blessed. Blessed. And when you have that blessed heart towards God, what happens to your behavior? Does it get worse or better? Better. Okay, good. Good. Does your better behavior save you from hell or does God save you from hell? Right. When God saves you from hell, what does He do with your behavior? Makes it better or worse? Better. Good. All right. Now, who gets the perfect coat? Now God sees us as righteous because we're in Christ. Dakota, who gets the perfect coat? Jesus. Well, He got your messed up coat. <laughs> All right. Well, then, I, then I, it looks like I get the, uh, the outstanding coat. You know why you get the outstanding coat? It's when you, when you trust Him pretty good deal okay bad. so how many commandments did we break all and what did we deserve hell who took your punishment jesus and who wore your coat jesus how many commandments did we keep i'm not sure none none 
Who kept them for you? Jesus. Who was perfect for you? Jesus. So you could go to heaven. And it was all based on who? Jesus. There you go. So it's trusting him, okay? We belong in hell, but we can go to heaven because of what he did. So gold for heaven. Remember the dark was for our sin. We broke the commandments. We deserve hell. The blood of Christ, God the Father. Do you remember the Trinity? Can you tell me the Trinity? God the Father. God the Father. God the Son. God the Son. God the Holy Spirit. God the Holy Spirit. Can you say that? God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. You got it. Okay. So God the Son on the cross paid your sin debt with his blood. What happened three days after he paid your sin debt? Correct. After he did that, what happened three days later? The world was renowned. Okay. But he rose. He rose. He rose. When he rose, Dakota, he gave you a receipt. Do you remember what the official resurrection receipt says? Paid. Paid in full. I love you. Just trust me. Green is grow. Green is grow. Best way to grow is to love God. And the way you love God is you understand what he did for you at the cross. You understand that he took your place. And you understand he was already charged guilty, past, present, and future. When you see that, you really can't help but love him. And that love changes you. And that love actually keeps all the commandments. We can't save ourselves. We have to trust God to save. We can't keep the commandments. We have to trust God the Holy Spirit. God the Son saves us. God the Holy Spirit keeps the commandments in our heart by love. Do you have a Bible to read? Yes. Do you have a church to go to? Not around here. I have a church that I attend, yeah. Okay. Well, I will invite you. Do you have any questions for me? No. Anything that you want to share? No. Let me pray for you. Okay. My back's starting to hurt. God, thank you for Dakota. Thank you that he understands today that his salvation is God and God alone. And just by trusting you, he has eternal life. Help him to keep trusting and fill him with your love. And Dakota, what would you like to tell the Lord? I'm going to heaven. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And what's the reason? Amen. Amen. Bless my dear friend in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Anything else you want to share? No. Do I have permission to use the video? Sure. Okay.